Hello YouTube. So this video is about Micromax Canvas A250, also known as Canvas Turbo. Well, it's a brilliant phone, and I'm very happy with it. I've been using it for like one month. I mean, like I said, it's a brilliant phone. It has full HD screen, 2 GB RAM, 13 megapixel camera with Sony sensor, 5 megapixel front camera. Yes, pure Xperia Z2. Uh, this is a custom ROM. Well, I'll get uh, up to it in a moment. Uh, as I was saying, like this is a brilliant phone. I've been using it for past one month. Mm, also has a decent battery life. Uh, last about a day with uh, heavy to fair usage. Uh, the only problem for me was low internal app memory, which was around uh, like one GB, and it filled up pretty fast. I mean, I'm a guy who installs all the available social apps like Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Wine, you name it, I'll install it. Um, I'm a social freak. Um, and the thing about these apps are you have to install them on, I mean, obviously it's not installed on the phone right now, but as I've just installed this custom ROM, which is based on Xperia. Now uh, yes, as I was saying that um, the problem with these apps are they require to be st uh, installed on internal memory and as I said the internal memory is around 1 GB which fills up really fast. So <coughs> that was my main issue with this phone. Um, but the thing is I got a work around to it and also the other issue with this phone was uh, Android version Micromax. I don't know why they are delaying the uh, KitKat version of this phone. Uh, they said it like uh, last year around New Year's Eve that they'll be <coughs> providing KitKat upgrade um, and during the Q2, early Q2 of this year 2014. But here we are with no update. So I'm happy to say right now that I have increased the internal memory and got my software to 4.4.2 which is KitKat. So just uh, to summarize, this is not a video on how to install it. I'm just showing it to you. I'll be providing you the description, a link in the description box uh, just to uh, show you. Let me go here and this the storage. See, it's only if I can focus Oh, if I can see it's 3.67 right now 2.87 is available 2.87 GB okay there's something issue with this focus uh, let me see if I can zoom in okay this here it is 3.67 mm, okay anyways um, let me try that again okay here it is it's 3.6.7 and GB of uh, internal storage and around 10 GB of uh, internal storage for your videos, photos, uh, and everything else. So, and uh, to see, yep, here is the KitKat 4.4.2. This is an uh, KitKat version. Mm, okay, here it is. Uh, sorry for my camera work. Yep, see, this is Android KitKat. So far the from is good. I mean, I'm not a big fan of pure Xperia Z2, so I'll be reverting back to 4.2.2. Uh, um, I'll wait for Micromax version, but uh, here it is 4.4.2 is available and to ready to be installed on Micromax Turbo. Uh, as I was saying that this is not a tutorial on how to do it, but I'll be providing you links in the description box below. So check it out. I'll be giving you the links, uh, all the links, and uh, just to tell you, this is uh, not a safe way to do it. I have bricked my phone a couple of times while doing this. Uh, the tricky part is, um, the tricky part of this phone is that uh, while doing this, you have to install a ROM, uh, which was made for the clone of this device, which is Vicos Dark Full. Uh, the clone of Micromax 250 which is available in Russia and that f particular phone has a partition of 3 three GB for internal memory and 10 GB for uh, media storage so 
we have to flash that ROM on this which will uh, repartition the entire thing and uh, after that uninstall it install your own ROM um, do it whatever you like um, like MIUI or any other ROM which is available on XDA so uh, but again I'm warning you do it on well that's it and one more thing when you flash Vico dark full ROM make sure to take uh, your IMEI backup and NVRAM backup because it will mess up your Wi-Fi I mean although your Wi-Fi will work but it will your phone signal won't work so you have to restore IMEI uh, manually uh, via mobile uncle tool and uh, I would like to give a big shout out to guys over XDA forum for developing this ROM and this workaround big thank you to those guys and if you guys have any comments or question please do leave it in below in the comment section I'll hope I'll answer them thank you